Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me this week. I'm planning from July 4th to the 10th and I'm using this kit from Pink Diamond Planner Co., which is clearly some sort of like 4th of July kit. Um, I don't really know why I decided to buy a festive, you know, Yay America kit this year. Um, I definitely love this kit. Like it's very pretty and I like the addition of purple. Um, but obviously this year and just the past many years has definitely not been like, you know, <laughs> go America. Um, and actually I'm just realizing as I'm looking at my computer that today is election day. So it's sort of fitting. Um, I don't know about you guys. I'm definitely nervous because even though I live in an incredibly liberal city, I do live in a purple state. And um, I am flustered, so I really hope that enough people voted. And it's also kind of scary, not not to get too like political and depressing, but um, I did a mail-in ballot and had absolutely no problem with it. They counted my vote and everything was all good. My boyfriend, who mailed his in even before I did, his ballot was stuck on pending, so he had to go to a polling place today to make sure that his vote counted and it's a really good thing he did because he had to vote in person so I don't know the whole like mail-in thing is awesome and convenient but like things get lost in the mail people forget to write the date it's it's like I don't know anyway that's all I'm gonna say about it and um and we're just gonna move on to planner stuff fun stuff right um I actually am not looking at my planner for once, but I am looking at pictures of my planner on my computer while I do this voiceover on my phone because um, I'm not home. Uh, but I feel like I'm so far behind and I just really wanted to get something done and I have the footage. So I was like, you know, let me just see if I can manage a voiceover without my planner right in front of me. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, but anyway, not much else to say. I don't really think there's anything to say about the layout of this spread. It's just like a standard thing that I've been doing. I guess the one main difference is on my sidebar. What I did was um, I did add something on my sidebar that I didn't have room for in my plans. So that actually worked out this week. Um, I just used those extra boxes to mark things that happened this week that I didn't have space for. So moving on to the day by day, starting with Monday, the first thing I marked with a fancy label and this runny nose munchkin from Once More With Love was that I woke up with a cold um, with a squared off box and this sweating emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I marked that Joe's basement was underwater once again. Um, knock on wood, it hasn't been flooding recently and we think that there was some sort of work being done on the basement at his neighbor's house and because like the water was coming from their basement uh so we're hoping that it's like pretty much fixed we'll see because it used to flood every time it rained and it has rained quite a few times and there has been no flooding but you never know. Anyway, I thought that the sweat could be a puddle. So that's what that's for. Under that, with an appointment label and um, this vacuum I've had from SPC left over for a million years, um, we attempted to shop vac as much water up as we possibly could. Then with a little thing and this bed from Stella Bow Sticker Co., I marked that I just like went back to bed for the rest of the day. It was a holiday, so um, I didn't have to nanny and I also didn't have to work my other job and I'm a depressed mess, so I slept all day. With a movie marquee from the kit and this popcorn that was left over from a random kit, I marked that we tried watching the movie Crimes of the Future, but it was so bad we turned it off. If you like that movie... I mean, that's, you know, I totally respect that. I thought it got like good reviews. So it's a likable movie. We both hated it. Didn't even like it enough to see it through. So yeah, do not recommend. And then finally with a little thing and this pumpkin paper Cotera doing the dishes. These are my favorite little dish stickers. I'm going to be so sad when I'm finished with them. Um, but I just marked that I did the dishes. 
Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a square and this planting roses tire was that I had to fill my tire. It was like almost completely flat. I think it was at like a PSI of like five or something disgusting like that, like basically on the rim, which is really, really bad. Um, then with a the fancy label and this munchkin swatting a mosquito, I marked that my car was covered in lanternfly urine and feces. And I have never seen anything like this. Please tell me in the comments if you have lantern flies where you live. Holy shit. I've had lantern fly feces all over my car before, but it's just like tiny little splatters everywhere and it's like sticky and you can't get it off and like it's kind of hard to see. When I say covered, I wish I had the picture easily available. Like I have a picture that I wish I could just show you guys right now. I am talking a film over my entire vehicle, even my door handles were sticky to the touch and I couldn't see through my windshield because it was like having wax paper over all of my windshields and my mirrors. So I luckily wasn't late somehow, but I had to get wet paper towels and clean off some of my mirrors and, and my windshield so that it would be safe for me to drive home. I couldn't see that's how much lantern I'm sorry I could go on for this forever because I've never seen anything like it it like blew my mind but anyway moving on with a little thing and um a munchkin carrying a birthday cake I marked that I had cake for breakfast I don't remember where I got the cake but whatever I had cake for breakfast with a little thing and these little munchkin babies playing I marked that I nannied um oh and I don't know if I've mentioned this before but um, I was watching a one-year-old and a four-year-old and the four-year-old went to camp during the day and it was my responsibility to take the baby with me and go to pick her up at the camp. So I really had to make sure that all of my windows were cleaned because it would be so irresponsible to have two children in my car without, with like, without being able to see, you know, it was just, it was such a mess and very stressful. Um, with a little thing and this really old school scribbler on an on a tablet I marked that I colored and then with a little thing and the Stella Bow Sticker Co umbrella I marked that it rained and the final thing for Tuesday with a squared off box and a planting roses book I marked that I finished where the crawdads sing and I hated it I hated it I don't know why I finished it. Everybody loved it. I even like, I got it with a friend. We both bought it at the same time. And she actually texted me how much she loved the book when she was funny, F funny, finished. I hated it. The only thing I liked about it was the very end, like the very, very end. I'm not going to spoil it in case you want to read it. But like, if you're into thrills and chills and mysteries and suspense, don't read this book. It's so boring and wordy. And just like, ugh, it's almost like poetry. So I don't know, I guess if you like poetry, read it. I hate poetry, so definitely wasn't for me. Anyway, enough about the book. Moving on to Wednesday. The first thing I marked with the fancy label and this RX bottle from Paper Shire was that my throat was hurting like crazy. With a little thing and a Modi pumping gas, I marked that I stopped to get gas on the way to work. With a little thing and another um, Once More With Love sticker, I marked that I nannied. With an appointment label and these munchkins picnicking, I marked that it was 90 degrees this day. With a squared off box and this pimple munchkin, I marked that I got yet another giant zit. Um, fast forward to present time, I have contacted, just in case you're like, I don't know, sometimes people hate hearing people complain about the same thing over and over again and doing nothing about it, but like I have contacted, contacted my insurance company to see if I can see a dermatologist without a referral. And they said yes. So I got the numbers of some dermatologists and like I am eventually going to call. I have phone anxiety and doctor anxiety and like just generalized anxiety. So it's taken me a while. But yes, at this point, I think I've tried everything that I can to figure out what's going on with my skin. I changed my birth control because I thought it was hormonal. It's been a month and a half and I'm still getting new zits every week. So I'm starting to not I don't know. It's still in the hormonal zone. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's beside the point. Just I am like trying to take things into take matters into my own hands, you know. Anyway, another giant set with a little thing and a Target icon from Carly Plans. I marked that I went to Target with a little thing and this um, this is like a SPC icon from a multi sheet, but I used it to mark that 
I made myself self a salad and it was terrible. And this is why I don't make salads because I never have enough ingredients in order to make it taste delicious. And then it's just like a bland bowl of like some vegetables. It was terrible. With a little thing and a munchkin on their phone in bed, I marked that I just watched a bunch of TikToks, which was very um, just, I think, needed because my mind was just mush at this point. Um, And yeah, this was just another busy week. And uh, yeah, I just needed to do something lazy. So that's what I did. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked was that I woke up still feeling sick and I used another sick once more with love munchkin with a little thing and the same sticker I've been using. I marked that I nannied with a little thing and a little laptop. Um, I'm not sure it's, if it's from this kit or a different one, but this is like just a little icon from a kit. I marked that I worked my other job, my remote job with a squared off box and a YouTube laptop. I marked that I watched Sex in the City during um, nap time, uh, just while I ate my lunch, which was nice because I had my <laughs> computer at work to do my other job. So got to watch some TV to keep me awake with an appointment label and a little house from Planting Roses that I cut the rent due off of. I marked that I had the apartment to myself, which is rare on a Thursday, but my roommate was somewhere. I don't know, probably at her mom's house with a little thing. And this is a freebie. I did not purchase these little like 20s flapper munchkins, but I didn't want to throw them away. So I was pretty excited to like have a reason to use one of them. And I just used it to mark that I steamed and pinned an outfit that I was wearing to a wedding on Friday, um, the next day, the very next day. So that's what that was for. With a fancy label and a munchkin watching Netflix, I marked that I watched Murder Mystery as I fixed my outfit, which was very funny. I really enjoyed it. I like just not watched it because I thought it looked dumb, but it was very enjoyable. And it was dumb, but in a good way. With a squared off box and this um, hair sticker from Carly Plans, I marked that I curled my hair the night before. I am not good at hair and I'm really not good at curling it. And if I curl it the day of, I hate it. But if I curl it, sleep on it, wear it up in like a high ponytail all day and then just fix the curls, I think it looks great. It looks like I used rollers and like, or had like a fantastic blowout. Like, but yeah, so that's how I have to do my hair. If I curl it, I have to do it a full day before. Oh, sorry. I'm like running out of breath as always. Um, Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with a squared off box and the same sticker I've been using, I marked that it was my last day of nannying and it was definitely bittersweet. I was excited to be done with the commute and done working two jobs, but um, I really love those kids and I love the parents. I love their house. I love their neighborhood. So it is like an enjoyable job. So under that, I marked with a work label and this crying munchkin that I was going to miss the suburbs big time. They just, I've mentioned it before, they live in just so the like quintessential cute like CW Gilmore Girls town. It's so cute. And then also mansions. Um, So yeah, definitely miss that. With a little thing and a munchkin holding a baby, I marked that I had to leave early. Also, I had to leave at three because I had to go home and get ready for this wedding. Um, Never had to get ready for a Friday wedding before, but you know, first time for everything. So I left and went home and got ready. And I just marked that with this, um, I think this is from Paper Crown Prints, this little like brush sticker. And then under that with a half box and these balloons, I have no idea where I got them from. They're just on my like extras sheet. Um, I marked that it was the wedding time. It was a gorgeous wedding and the cocktail hour was insane. The cocktail hour was like, so it had every single kind of food ever. I have no idea how much they spent on that wedding, but it was nuts. And it was in Philadelphia, which was very convenient. We didn't have to go far to get there. Um, with a fancy label and this stuffed munchkin, I marked that I was really full. I was basically like too full to enjoy myself, but there was just so much good food. I wanted to eat it. 
the final thing I marked um, with a little thing and this partying munchkin was that there was an after party. Um, we didn't last very long. I didn't even want to go, but I was trying not to be like, you know, a party pooper. Uh, but I was really full. I was even too full for cake, which is like unheard of. Moving on to Saturday. I feel like I said that weird. Saturday, the first thing I marked was a squared off box and another Carly Plans, no, Stella Bow sticker coat bed. Uh, I marked that I slept all day just because I could <laughs> with a little thing and this Carly Plans cat food sticker. I marked that I did all the cat care, like the litter, the food, cleaning up their area, all that with a squared off box and this really cute Windex bottle, I believe from Sticky Perks. I love how well this matched this kit. I was finally able to use it. Um, I marked that I tidied up a bit with an appointment label and this little uh, hash brown I got on a freebie. I did not get hash browns, but I did use it to mark that we got McDonald's with a little thing and the TV from, I guess this kit or some kit. Um, I marked that we watched the challenge finale with a movie marquee and another one of these popcorn stickers. I marked that we watched the movie Hustle and it was just okay. It was a little underwhelming. It was cool again to like see um, locations that I've seen in person because the movie takes place in um, Philadelphia. So that was cool, but um, it was just your stereotypical heartwarming sports movie. There really wasn't like much to it that made it like the best movie like everybody we heard watched it like loved it it was good not great finally moving on to sunday the first thing i marked with a squared off box and another oh need breath sorry another um party munchkin i marked that my one of my good friends who unfortunately i'm not as close to her anymore but like sh we still say happy birthday to each other every year and try to see each other like i don't know once every other year but anyway she turned 30 this day so I just felt like it it was worth marking with a half box and this headache um, girl from Stick With The Plan Co. I marked that my ears were very clogged. Like it was really weird. Um, with a half box and this emoji playing tennis, I marked that we played tennis with um, two of our friends. Then because we drove them they invited us to join them for barbecue they were making like burgers and corn and potatoes and stuff on the grill um so we did that and to mark that i used an appointment label and a munchkin grilling with a fancy label and this shoe i marked that i went we went for a walk i got a dove bar which was delicious so i just used a little thing and this leftover ice cream to mark that and then the final thing with a half box and these olives sitting on a couch i marked that we watched only murders in the building and the two things i marked on my sidebar were one that um i got my first uh mosquito bite of the season and then the other thing I marked so I believe that happened on like Tuesday or Wednesday it doesn't even matter but then I marked with a half box um and this pretzel from a happy planner sticker book that um the wedding they were giving out pretzels as favors and so I did take one home uh I love I love a good soft pretzel but yeah, so that is everything for this plan with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you if you stuck all the way till the end. And um, I'm not exactly sure when this video ends, so I'm just talking. But uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.